Hi guys, welcome to Talk to Tina on Tuesday. Um, I'm actually just going to put my little link out here uh, for you, but today we're going to be going over um, a grant maker profile, another grant maker profile. Um, let's say you wanted to help uh, youth and or young adults in uh, Flint. Um, I kind of did a search for that and I am going to show you what I came up with. Hold on a moment, share my screen here. All right, so um, let me make this a little bit bigger for you. I pulled a grant that said that um, um, Charles Stewart Mott Foundation gave a $72,000 grant uh, in 2019 to Mott Community College for um, the renewal grant will provide support to Mott Community College for the Teen Creating Economic Opportunity Initiative. The goal of the project is to provide disadvantaged youth with a summertime opportunity to build their entrepreneurial business skills, explore higher education, and investigate career pathways. So as you can see, they got the grant. It's for community um, entrepreneurship and job counseling. The population for this was adolescents and young adults and students that are low uh, income. Uh, they wanted them to be specifically in Flint and they, pro they supported their program. So how do you uh, end up getting a grant from Mott? I mean, well, the Charles Stewart, Stewart Mott Foundation, you would go to their organization and they have an overview what type of issues that they will fund for. They fund for uh, civil society. Um, they do. They want to strengthen civic space, enhance community philanthropy, increase access to uh, justice, and they have some special initiatives as well. So if we were going ahead and go to apply for a grant here, you would go and click on one of the um, information, one of the uh, spaces that they give grants in, and then kind of look at what they want to do. So this one, we make grants to national and Michigan-based infrastructure organizations leading policy development and advocacy for the philanthropic, philanthropic and nonprofit sector. And they also do global, regional, and sectional selected national infrastructure organizations outside of the United States. So if you were seeking a grant, you would click on the Seek the Grant spot, and this is how you would apply for the grant at their organization. The Mott Foundation funds grants in the United States on a limited geographical ba basis, geographic basis and international. While we're open to new ideas and projects, funding for unsolicited requests is very, very limited. If you're interested in submitting an idea to us for funding, the first step is to complete a letter of inquiry form. Your letter of inquiry form will help our program staff determine the relevance of your proposed project to our program and provide you with the advice on whether to submit a full proposal. So they're saying, hey guys, they don't want you to just submit a grant proposal. They want you to say, you know what, let's look at your program. And if that's something that we're interested in, we're going to have you submit your full proposal. So provide, prior to submitting your letter of in inquiry, we ask you to learn about their program, which I'll go over in a moment. Funding interests, funding limitations, and guidelines for organizations located outside of the United States. If after reviewing all the information, you determine that your organization project fit within our guidelines, please click the link at the bottom of this page to access our letter of intent. Now, if you wanted to go to their programs, let me click over here. You can kind of go and look at all of their programs. They have them listed out. 
you can kind of go and see who they help, why they help. They do some, you know, young engagement after school, you know, just different things that you would be doing in your nonprofit that they would fund. But let me go back to the letter of intent here. So those are the programs. What they do not fund, they don't fund grants or loans to individuals. You have to be an organization that is a 501c3 that needs a grant, okay? No grants except for in the Flint area for capital development. So if you were in Flint, you can get all of these things. Outside of Flint, of Flint you can't get capital development research or pro project replication or endowment unless these activities grow out of work already being funded by mine. So um, basically no grants for local projects unless they are part of my plan national demonstration or network of grants. No grants for projects that duplicate or significantly overlap the work of federal, state or local government agencies. And then they don't fund uh, film or video projects, book scholarships and fellowships rarely are funded. They do fund them, but rarely. So you kind of want to know exactly what they um, are doing. And basically, here's the submitting the, the, the form here. Here's the application, but you can also just submit it online. And here is the letter of inquiry form. Okay. You Put your first, your last name, your email, your telephone number, your organization name, your tax ID number, the co your company URL. If it's, you know, obviously if it's not starred there, you don't have to put it there. Your company address, project description. They kind of tell you what they want. Um, they want you to be sure to tell us, um, you know, what you're doing, limit your description to 6,500 characters, including spaces or, or, or less of approximately one and a half pages. Um, so basically they're telling you exactly what they want. Your estimated project cost, how much is it going to cost for you to, um, run your project so that they can possibly fund it. Uh, your organizational description. Um, and then, you know, you got to kind of just uh, agree to their web terms of, of, of um, web policies. Uh, that is it for my guys, just kind of going over um, a few things. I showed you that, you know, they just recently funded a Youth Entrepreneurship Summer Program at $72,000. They fund a lot of other programs. This was just one that I pulled. All right, guys, thank you for coming out to talk to Tina Tuesday. If you would like to find out a little bit more about how we can help you with your nonprofit, go to the Facebook group um, here in the in the link nonprofit startup kit and you can get all of the um, the information that I have out for nonprofits in one spot if you join that group. All right thanks and you have a wonderful day.